Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm just going to play with my makeup while I discuss some stuff with you guys. Um, Leo is going to be behind me doing homework because he is out of school and I'm, I'm going to be getting ready for work and all that. Hopefully the sliding isn't too much. I moved my desk, or my vanity around so that I'm, it's natural lighting. Like this is, it's like about... 4 p.m. so this is like the best time to do it where I actually have natural lighting the only thing is like I have the windows that have the thing on them so you're going to be getting kind of cut off anyways um I've had a lot going on this week um I'm not sure if I've mentioned in any of my videos I'm going to um use a toner uh a couple months ago, um, my husband and I were having uh, some marital issues, and um, I suffer from anxiety and depression regularly, so uh, when I found out a couple months ago that he wanted to get a divorce, uh, I didn't take it very well, and I ended up in the hospital because uh, people thought I was trying to kill myself and that's not the case. Um, I just made some really poor decisions. But after that had happened, we had talked, I started going to my doctor. We, I got put on medication for depression and we decided to work it out. Um, I thought it, I'm, I'm putting on a moisturizer. I thought it was going well. My medication is working very well. Um, I We haven't been fighting. We've been getting along. Um, I've been very open with him. Like uh, Usually I would keep things bottled in until I exploded. Yes, baby. Um, Hold on, Leo needs help. Okay, sorry. He's doing math and I'm not the greatest at it. But um, I'm really surprised I'm doing my makeup with my hair down. I never do my hair with my makeup down. Or my makeup with my hair down. But anyways, um, this last week I felt that he was acting very, very strange. Um, like very, very distant. Uh, I'm trying a new primer. I'm going to be trying the e.l.f. primer. Sorry if I'm squinting, I do have blue eyes and they are very sensitive to the sun and currently the sun is right there. So, but he was acting very, very distant. He was just being very weird towards me. And then I came home from work Sunday morning and we had talked prior to this and he said everything was fine. He reassured me that everything was fine. Um... So I just went about my the week and because I believe I talked to him on Tuesday, and then um, Sunday morning I came home from work. He was getting ready to leave uh, for his show. So yeah. Um, ooh, this does not smell good. Uh, it's really smooth though. He was getting ready for his show, and I was like, I can't take this anymore. What's going on? You've been very, very distant this week. And he handed me a letter that he had apparently written a while back um, telling me that he um, no longer had feelings for me. So, um, he was going to wait till after the holidays so that we didn't affect the kids. Um, he's pretty much been trying to work it out because of the kids. Um, I was devastated. I went out, um, after he got back from his thing, um, I went out and I drank. And, um, I didn't do anything stupid. I didn't drink enough to where I was incoherent. Um, honestly, alcohol takes a while to hit me, so it didn't really hit me till I was almost home. And even then, it was shortly after he left um, for his practice that he um, that I started 
saying stupid things and he started saying stupid things and we were just being really mean towards each other. Um, he came home shortly after that because I asked him to come get the kids. It was like 11 p.m. at night on Sunday. Um, the kids had school, like Leo has school in the morning and all that. Um, I'd been talking to my friends about it. I've been talking to the family about it. Um, I'm just not really sure what to do because when he came back, he apologized and was like, you have done absolutely nothing wrong. He feels like in the letter he mentioned like we had nothing in common um, other than we play Borderlands together and even that was getting boring and um, he feels that my medication is the only reason that we are still together like it's still working out so well and I was just like that's what it's supposed to do it's a depression medication it's what it's, it, it helps my brain process things differently and it's doing what it's supposed to do so um, he said that he hates seeing me like that because I was just upset. I was crying a lot. Um, I've been crying a lot. I haven't been eating very much. Um, when you've been with someone for 14, well, 15 years now, um, you tend to take things hard. So, yeah. Um, he ended up telling me that he, it was all him. Um, it was just some stuff that he had in his head, like, like, what if I stop taking my medication or, um, hold on. Get your homework done, baby. Um, what if I stop taking my medication or it stops working or, or something goes wrong? He was playing a lot of what ifs in his head and basing our relationship off of that. So it was kind of tearing our relationship apart. Um, I did tell him that I would think about it because he said he wanted to try again and work on it um because things have been going great he says i've been doing great with this medication and all that and so he's been wanting he wants to work it out and i have been thinking about it for a couple days now and i just i still don't under like i don't know because he pretty much said that he only wants to stay together for the kids like I, you know, I don't want to be with someone that doesn't love me um, and that only wants to be with me because of my kid, our kids. But at the same time, I do, I do still love him. Um, that's why it is so hard for me to um, just give it up. Oh, sorry. Um, like I said, at the same time, I do still love him. Um, a lot. I care about him a lot as well. But it's really hard to make a decision when literally nobody is in the corner for you to try and work it out. Like, um, everyone has told me to just leave him. He's not worth the pain. If I do give him another chance... Uh, he's just going to hurt me again because he's going to have these feelings all over again. And even he said that he might have these feelings all over again. And in all honesty, he gave me a second chance. So I'm just going to give him another chance because it's not fair for him to give me a chance and then me not to give him one. Um, when I got out of the hospital... Um, he decided to give me a chance, and I have changed. Um, maybe this time he will change. So that being said, um, I know I'm going to make a lot of people angry, but this is what makes me happy. It's what makes my kids happy. So they were very upset when they found out that um, Carrie and I might be separating. So, <sighs> yeah. Um, he has changed. It's only been a day, so, I mean, we'll have to, like, see what, where it goes from here. But with the holidays coming up, it would really, really suck to have to, like, um, split up right now and try to figure out wh who the kids are going to be with at what time. And it, it would just be very stressful, for one. But I would like to give it another go. Because we have been together for um, 15 years now. So, 
it would be ridiculous of me not to give him another chance. Um, he's never done anything wrong otherwise. Um, he has broke my heart a couple times, but um, those were valid. Um, I was a horrible, horrible person before I got on my medication. Um, not only with him, but with other people as well. So, yeah. Hold on, I'm going to go check on Leo real quick. And okay, sorry, I'm starting to lose my light because I'm having to help him. But, um, I don't know. It, it all comes down to what I want, and what I want is my husband. So, I'm going in with my translucent powder. I don't know if I've been telling you guys. I used my, um... Wet and Wild Concealer Stick, and then my Glamouflage Hard Candy, and now I'm going in with my um, usual powder. But, uh, I've also been going through some other stuff as well. Um, I'm not sure what's going on, but I will have to talk to my doctor about it the next time I see her. I go in next month. Um, I've been having some numbness and tingling in my hands and feet so uh, yeah like it feels like I'm walking on pins and needles at sometimes I don't know what that is about I am a borderline diabetic so I am a bit concerned and I did not tell my husband about that till last night so um, he said he has no idea what it could be I was just hoping that maybe it was just exhaustion or stress but, I don't know. We're I gonna... Huh? I I'm already doing my makeup. Um, we're just gonna see how this works out. It makes the kids happy that we're staying together, yeah? Yeah. You happy that Mommy and Daddy are staying together? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to work it out. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm happy that we're trying to work it out. Like I said, I'm going to make a lot of people angry, but... It is what it is. Hold on. I need to see what he wants. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 14, 11, 10, 9. Okay, and then 5 minus 0. He's learning subtraction, so I'm going on with my contouring palette. Um, I have thought about this. I don't want anyone to like think that I haven't thought this through because I have. I really have. Um, this all happened on Sunday and it is now Tuesday and I'm, I just now gave him an answer. So I did think about it. I did outweigh, like I did um, do my pros and cons. I made a list and was like, okay, so if I if we decided to split, would I do better? Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh. I just I made a list and this I said with that one. This one I got 19 on my goal, so I passed him. I'll be on in. Oh, it doesn't say finish and complete. No, it oh. starts. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it said to finish and complete, but I made sure I was making the right choice. For me and for my kids. Um, mostly for me. Like, I'm not doing this just for the kids. Because um, that's not healthy. You shouldn't be in a relationship solely for uh, the kids. Because in the end, you're just going to be hurting them. So, I guess I'll give you guys an update in like a month or so to see how we're doing. Because, well, I don't know. I will obviously keep you guys posted. Marriages do have their ups and downs. Um, we have been through so much. We've been through bankruptcy. We've been through um, deaths and stuff. So, uh, I'll be right back. She was crying because Leo yelled at her. But, um... We've been through bankruptcy, we've been through deaths, we've been through, um, money issues and stuff like that, so, 
And I don't know, like, if everyone, like, I have had doubts about our relationship at one point. Like, it's not like it's a one-sided thing. Did I tell him? No. Um, I eventually was like, you know what? We've been through so much. Why change it now? So, alrighty, I am going to stop talking at this point because, like I said, I just wanted to update you guys on what has been going on. I'm just going to go ahead and play with my palettes and get ready for work. So. So that's how that's what we're going with today because I do work in a couple of hours. Uh, I haven't been going until six lately. So, yeah. Anyways, um, to any of my family or friends who watch my channel, um, please don't be mad with Carrie. Um, like I said, everyone is entitled to their off days. Um, 
I get that a lot of you want to protect me and you don't like to see me hurt and all that, but don't feel the need to like be rude to him if you see him or mean or anything like that because it's not fair to him. Um, you guys really don't know the whole story. Um, nobody honestly does other than me and Carrie. Um, he, him and I have been through a lot. Um, before I found this medication that is actually working, I did treat him horribly. So, um, and he hasn't been like extremely horrible to me. Um, the only issue is that, you know, he broke my heart. And, um, that's pretty much it. Um, he's never treated me badly or anything like that. So, um, a lot of the times. I don't mind going out, not going out. Um, I, I am a homebody, so when he has gigs and stuff, it doesn't really bother me. I do miss him, but a lot of people think that I don't go out because he's always going out, and that's what makes him happy. Like, his music career is what makes him happy. Me doing videos on YouTube and doing my makeup, that's what makes me happy. So, as long as we're both happy, I really, really hope that you guys can be happy for us as well. So, please um, keep us in your thoughts and prayers. Um, hopefully we can get through this rough patch and just move on. Um, I'm willing to forgive him, so everyone else should be willing to forgive him as well. Um, he forgave me the first time, so... But um, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you understand why I felt the need to make this video. Um, I do not like to put my personal stuff out there, but if this would have gone the other direction, I would have had to explain it anyway. So until next time, guys, I got to go get ready for work. I close again tonight, so I'll see you guys next time. Much love. Bye. I just got home from work, and I literally nearly just passed out at work. Um, a co-worker of mine, like I was just cleaning the sauce containers, and I turned around to clean some more sauce containers, and I literally just started falling forward, and she caught me. Like I, and It was like pure panic, because I, I, I felt like I was falling. So I'm going to go in and check my blood sugar, and if it's not bad then I'm gonna call my doctor tomorrow because um the dizzy spells have been getting more and more frequent so but I'm gonna go in check my blood sugar and go to bed guys see you next time bye